today because I am going to Alden Towers. <laughs> Literally woke up super early this morning because I am taking one of the earlier trains and buses. Alton Towers is a pretty isolated park in the middle of England and I really don't want to take a risk. Uh, it's been five years, I really miss this park. So thankful when I looked at the windows outside today. Weather looks so nice, the sun is coming out. So, woo sunny day in Simple yay! Literally just arrived here and turns out lines to get into the park. So long. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I have a feeling it's going to take at least an hour. And after 30 minutes, we are in! Fabulous, yes! <laughs> so now a couple of facts on why Alton Towers is such a special theme park, especially among the coaster enthusiast community. Alton Towers is actually the breeding ground for all of the roller coaster innovation that has been happening in the 20th and the 21st century. The world's first flying coaster, the world's first vertical drop roller coaster, the world's first free fall roller coaster. They also hold the record for a roller coaster with the most number of inversions, which is 14. This makes it so special because all of the prototype of these new roller coaster models, they are all built in here. One of the reasons why I'm coming here is because I want to conquer this one new roller coaster called Wicker Man. 30 minutes after coming in, 100 minutes wait. <laughs> Doesn't seem good <laughs> for the rest of the day. <laughs> Just be honest here that my experience at Alton Towers has been uh, not so good and it's not just because of the crowd control measure that in my eyes are well a big failure but it's just the crowd behavior in here as well no one is bothered to wear a mask no one is bothered to do social distancing on their own which kind of makes me uh, a bit uncomfortable you know exactly sure what is going on in Alton Towers because in some parts social distancing is followed very nicely whereas in other parts no social distancing at all. This is very apparent on some rides for example like on the Smiler and on uh, Wicker Man there are marks on the queue line where actually people have to stand not even two meters even three meters four meters apart and that's very good. On the other hand for attractions like Nemesis air or uh, galactica and such no social distancing at all nothing people are just like oh yeah just sit wherever you want um that really concerns me so if you are visiting alton towers and you are crunched on time here are four attractions that i think you should experience number one is nemesis this inverted roller coaster uses the natural terrain as well as the deep valley very smartly they managed to put all of this track into this one compact 
space to create such an intense experience with all of these special sensations like food chopper and stuff like that. It's unlike any other inverted roller coasters out there and this is a reason why it is called one of the best inverted roller coasters in the world. Number two is Oblivion, the world's first vertical drop roller coaster. It is short, but it is intense. It gives you five Gs at the bottom of the drop. That vertical drop is just unforgettable, especially when you look down and see the sign saying, don't look down. Number three is the Smiler, the one with 14 inversions, which is a world record. You probably know this roller coaster because it had an incident back in 2015, which is really unfortunate. But regardless, it is a really fun roller coaster to experience, especially with going upside down 14 times. I think it will make you giggle a lot. Number four is Air or Galactica. It is the world's first flying roller coaster in which they lift you up so that you are doing the roller coaster as if you are flying like a Superman. Thank you.